Happy Friday! Thanks for tuning in again. Um, today we're going to be continuing with our geometry and we're going to be looking at parallel lines and the rules of angles involving parallel lines. We're also going to be looking at polygons and giving you a good understanding of the polygon rules and finally we're going to be looking at triangles and the rules involved in triangles and their angles. So to get started once again, I'd like you to have your PowerPoint open so that you can follow along and do some questions as we go. So the, uh, the first thing we're going to look at is parallel lines and a bit of revision for you. Parallel lines will never cross, whether we're moving upwards or downwards, they will never cross. So there's a few rules, there's a few rule angle rules regarding parallel lines. So when we have a transversal line, which means a straight line, that cuts over the two parallel lines, we have a couple of rules. So the first rule is corresponding, corresponding angles. Corresponding means in the same position of the parallel line. So this point here is on the same side or on the same position of the parallel line. So they would be corresponding angles and they are equal. Okay, the second rule is alternate angles. Okay, so alternate angles are when we have, let's say, one angle here and one angle here. So alternate meaning they are on either side of that transversal line. And once again, alternate angles. Are equal. And finally, we have what we refer to as co-interior angles. Now, co meaning both and interior meaning inside. So co-interior angles, let's just get rid of these. Uh, when we have two angles on the inside of the parallel lines on the same side of the transversal line. So those co-interior angles must add up to 180 degrees. And then we have our three rules regarding parallel lines. So there's some questions for you to do on the PowerPoint that will consolidate that for you. And if you are having trouble, you may refer to the solutions at the end of the PowerPoint. Um, but the examples in sector will also guide you. Now, just when you get to that second page, you'll notice that sometimes, and I'll pop a little example on the board, sometimes you're given more information than you actually need. And you need to decide what information to use and what information to ignore. So if we have a scenario like this, okay, and we might be asked to find X, and we're told that this angle here is... 102. We're also told that this angle here is 82 degrees. So when we get presented with a problem like this, sometimes we have too much information, we need to ignore some of the information. Now in this scenario, I'm looking for a rule that I can use and I can see that if I just look at this line here, these two angles are in the co-interior position. So I can use my co-interior rule that tells me that x plus 102 equal to 180. In this instance, I'm not using that piece of information. I'm ignoring it because I only need this information to solve my problem and I can find that x is equal to 78 degrees. Okay, so be careful. Don't think you have to use all of the information that you're given. moving along. Okay, on to polygons. So we have um, some information on sector going through the different polygons. We go through um, naming polygons depending on how many 
many sides they have. So that's all for you to have a look at there. Regular polygons. And moving on to triangles. We have four different types of triangles that you will need to be familiar with. So scalene. Scalene have all sides that are different lengths. Differing length sides. Isosceles triangle have two sides that are the same and therefore two angles that are the same. And our third type of triangle is equilateral where we have all sides equal length. And finally, we have our right angle triangle, where we have our 90 degrees, meaning that it's a right angle triangle. Okay, so I have three different types of triangles. Some triangle rules that we need to be familiar with in terms of the angles. All of the angles in a triangle add up to... You've guessed it, 180 degrees. So that's hopefully just revision for you. The other rule that we'll be looking at today is the external angle rule, which says that the external angle is equal to the two opposite internal angles. So we have a rule that says A plus B equals X. So some questions using these rules in sector for you and once again some questions there for you to complete with the solutions provided. Once you have completed those questions I would like you to log into your manga hire please. There are two tasks that I need you to complete. The first one is called polygons and the second one is called types of triangles so that will be assessing your understanding of the rules we've just covered today. Thank you and uh, tune in again next week. Have a good weekend.